let's use the knowledge base to try and find the answer to our question. The knowledge base on the customer support portal is powered by IDLE, a product from Microfocus. It includes millions of documents from various sources. This includes community posts, product manuals, knowledge articles, patches, known defects, security bulletins, and we also have downloads for apps, add-on, code samples, and utilities. Some marketing resources are also searched, including white papers and articles. For our partners and employees, there are additional resources also available if you are authenticated. Log on to the customer support portal to access the knowledge base. You can get to the knowledge base in three different ways. Either use the white search bar at the top, select knowledge base on the gray ribbon bar, or when you raise a new case, the subject you provide will automatically be searched in the knowledge base once you move away from that field. Let's use the white search bar. When searching for knowledge, if you have an error code in a log or written to the screen, it's a good point to start. So let's do that as an example. To search for a specific phrase, put it in double quotes and then select the magnifying glass. The screen is divided into three vertical parts. On the left-hand side, you have the concepts. I have one concept here, which is what I put in the search bar. I can also add additional filters by using a date of the article, or I can filter in more detail by product, security level, document type, and language. Notice in brackets after them, it identifies how many of those there are for the results you got on this search. In document type, there are seven document types that are resultant. You get the first five automatically, and you can use the seal to see any other ones. So we have 241 results here, which is quite a lot. So I might want to filter this a little bit further. I know that I got this error when I was running a discovery. So let me add discovery to my concepts. This will do a Boolean and. It has now reduced my results down to nine. Let me sort that by date. I want to look at recent things. Here, I look like I have a good candidate for the error that I've had, my discovery jobs, with the buffer space um, available message there. From here, you can then select and look at the knowledge article as long as you have the relevant product entitlement for it. This was an example when I was searching because I had a problem. You can also use this to search for things that are relevant from the documentation. Let me remove these two concepts and do another search. Maybe I'm going to do an upgrade and I want to get some information about that. Let me search for my UCMDB upgrade to 2021.05. Notice it's provided with me straight through to the documentation. There are a number of things which are available here and I can use those to help me prepare rather than going specifically to the documentation here. Notice that you can save queries for reuse. 
do a save and put a name in. I have saved that query, so now I can retrieve that as needed. When I select on it, it will then replace and do my search for my query.